For today's unboxing, we're going to look at the Kickstarter that just arrived, Britannia Classic and Dual Edition from Lewis Pulsifer and PSC Games. I'm excited to open this up. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while, and uh, let's see what's in the box. So here's what arrived. We got a little bag that says uh, Britannia figures. So this must just be some extra pieces. Uh, we can take a look at these under the close-up camera in a little bit. And then we've got uh, the manuals here, rules for classic and dual edition. Uh, looks like a pretty thick manual. Pull it out real quick. Nice full color, large manual. Large cape table of contents, about a 60 page document here. Some overview, list of all the components, explanation of the map, game setup instructions, and then it looks like it's getting into how to play the rounds. Yeah, And uh, on the back, a nice uh, overview of what the different components are for the two different versions, the Britannia and the dual version. And then uh, some interesting chronology and history information here, strategy notes and historical notes here at the end. Um, yeah, very thorough, pretty well uh, organized book it looks like. So it'll be interesting to dig into that and see uh, the details as we have a chance. All right, on this it says Lewis Pulsifer's Britannia Classic and Dual, Dual Edition. The much loved historical board game Britannia Returns. This edition includes over 200 plastic miniatures and two ways to play using a double sided board. Classic Britannia for three to four gamers and Dual Britannia, new faster play for two. Control the destiny of famous nations from British history, including the Romans, Caledonians, Saxons, Angles, Danes, and Normans. March into battle with famous leaders. And uh, goes on to talk a little bit more about the history, gives a list of all the components. Uh, ages 14 and up, 2 to 4 players, 90 to 120 minutes, a little bit longer of a game. Let's open it up and check out these 200 miniatures that they're talking about in the game board pieces. Really like the art on the cover. So here we've got our punch boards, looks like VPs and different tiles for maybe different clans. See the detail there. And then this is another rule book. I'm not sure why there's two. Maybe the other one is updated. I have to check into that a little bit. It looks at first glance like it's the same information. So I don't know if I just have two copies or if the second one was updated. I'll have to investigate. Then we've got some scoring summary sheets. Looks like, uh, let's see, there's four here. It's a dual, uh, or a folded summary, it looks like, how the different clans score. And then a timeline. Then a summary of all the components, it looks like. So there's four of those. And then uh, the dual, obviously, is a two player game, so just two. And it's got uh, increase, decrease, population explanation, and scoring. And then timeline. So, yeah, very nice. Take a look at the game board here. It is quite large. <laughs> So let's see if we can get at least most of it under the camera. It's going to be impossible to see it all in one shot, but uh, you can see the map is very attractive. You got a score track all around the outer edge, and then some other sort of track here at the bottom. Very pretty. And then this is the dual side for the two-player version. See at the top there, Dual Britannia also has the same track around the outer edge. Um, and then just a modified map and a shorter additional track here at the bottom. Really pretty. So, 
And then there's uh, some dice, just red dice. Looks like there's uh, 10 of them. And then here are the minis. So lots and lots of miniatures. Let's look at these under the close-up camera, as well as some of the other components that came in that separate little baggie. So these are the little miniatures that came in the baggie. Uh, there's a couple leaders, it looks like, for the blue and the purple clans. And not sure why there's not a black and a red. They may be in the main box components. Uh, maybe there was a, a reprinting of the leaders for these two clans or something. And then the little gray tiles, I assume, are city structures, city walls, something like that. Uh, it's been long enough since I uh, invested in the Kickstarter. I don't remember some of the details of the gameplay right now. I have to look that up and start reading through the rules. But uh, So that's the extras that came outside of the main box. Let's take a look at the components that are in the main box now. All right, so for now, just dump them all out. You can see there's a lot of little pieces. Uh, so let's just take a look at a few of them more close up. Uh, one of the larger leaders, perhaps, for the blue group, and then another on horseback. Um, looks like it's got a sword there overhead. Pretty cool. And here's an, yet another leader. Um, it looks like they've got some of the same features for the different colors. So here's one that's like that in the red. Uh, same thing in the purple. So I think they have a lot of the same features. There's one on horseback that's a little bit smaller without the sword for the purple crew. And then we've got the littler soldiers, it looks like, probably. So I'm guessing there are just different kinds of generals and such. Uh, these larger ones with the swords, perhaps. Leaders of some sort. And then the main army warriors would be the smaller, the main fighters, maybe, the smaller guys. Lots of little cool details on them, though. So that gives you a little bit of a flavor of what these miniatures look like and have to dig into the rule book again and start looking at those lists to identify what these different features are, um, what the different colors represent in terms of different clans. Uh, but at least gives you a feel for the number of miniatures, um, the size of the miniatures, and the different detail that's in them. So that is what is in the box in terms of the miniatures for Britannia and Duel. So there you have it, the unboxing of Britannia Classic and Dual Edition, uh, the Kickstarter that was just delivered here in the last week. Excited to figure out how this game plays and look through all of these different uh, explanations of what the characters are and sort them out and get it to the table. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you've been interested in this Kickstarter, if you, if you supported it yourself but maybe haven't received yours, you can see what's coming in the mail soon. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. If you've played the game, maybe the original or this new Kickstarter version, uh, let me know what you think. Or if you have questions about gameplay, uh, once I have a chance to get it to the table, I'd be glad to answer those as well. So leave those comments below. If you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd click that like button. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and keep an eye on what we're doing here with Billy and Deanna. Um, if you want to get notifications, click on that bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. This is Billy and Deanna, signing off. Huh.